first time tuning in, my name's Luke Flyter. Welcome. I've been snorkeling this spot for about 10 years now. It's a really cool spot. It's on the west coast of Florida where you can uh, just hop right off the shore and do some uh, snorkeling. There's not many places in Florida like that. I mean, you can always try and snorkel, but most of it is going to be sand bottom, not a whole lot, maybe a few rocks. This spot is actually pretty cool. I've done some minor spear fishing off here. So if you're into that and you don't have a boat, it's also another really cool spot. Just shows you what uh, what can be done if you do a little research and, and figure things out. Uh, a lot of cool sheep's head and, and snapper and things like that out here. I've shot mackerel, anything. Uh, so anything could swim by here. It's pretty cool. There's always snooks, so of course, uh, make sure you know your fish ID. Don't shoot any of those or anything. Um, but it is a really cool spot, super duper shallow. Um, and it runs along this entire coast, uh, probably about a quarter to a half a mile, as far as you can see down there. Um, if you look all the way down towards the end, and it ranges probably like uh, from zero foot where we're standing to like maybe only like six feet, 10 feet at the deepest part. Um, it's pretty cool. Some people know about it. When I first started coming here, there was no Google map spot, so you wouldn't see a single person all day. But now a lot of the tourists, and it's kind of off the side of a more famous beach, so more people are finding about it. But anyway, it's a pretty cool spot. So I figured I'd I'd show you guys what uh, what's underwater here. Yeehaw. <laughs> underwater everybody i'm gonna go ahead and do a commentary while you guys are watching the footage i hope you enjoy this is a pretty cool area most of it is about this depth anywhere from a couple inches to five six ten feet um, there's a few areas out past a little deeper where if you were to spearfish you would probably be going because it's a little farther offshore a little away from everybody uh, where it's about 15 foot and there's some ledges you saw that pipe there and that sheep's head. There's some of those pipes out deeper. They usually have some cool fish in there. Oh, you can see these snappers that just love being along that ledge. These are gray or mangrove snapper. Um, they're great for practicing. You can see if you look at the top of the water, the top of the screen, I'm a little deeper here, about 15 foot. And if you go lay on the bottom, these snapper come right up to you. They're pretty friendly. So if you're new to spear fishing and you're looking for a nice shore dive, this is pretty good. That little drop off there tends to hold um, a lot of snapper and that's directly off a little ways out. You got to swim. So make sure you got a dive flag. You can see all these snapper, they're gray snapper, mangrove snapper, whatever you want to call them. But most of these were legal size. There were some smaller ones, but I even saw some that were in the 16, 18 inch uh, size range so if you were just looking to get some stuff for dinner just go lay along these cracks here and just wait uh, you could easily harvest a couple of snapper and it'd be a pretty easy way to uh, to get your toes wet and dip your foot in and and get into spear fishing especially if you don't have a boat but you can see that little bit of a drop off they're all hanging out down there uh, and like I said this is on that deeper section a little farther offshore and all these ledges, I kind of wanted to show some detail here. Uh, that red or orange color is all a, a, a sponge, an encapsulating sponge. Um, all sorts of stone crab claws too. Something was eating the insides out of these. Um, that one was actually pretty big, but I kept finding them over and over. There's another one. Um, so pretty cool. I've dove this a bunch of times and I've seen a couple stone crabs, but never this many claws just sitting out there. Um, so yeah, I think I found like five or five or six as I was swimming around, but I just filmed a couple of them just to show you guys. Um, well, yeah, it was a little bit murky that day. Um, so bear with me on the image quality. Sometimes it's super clear here. Sometimes it's really murky and I kind of got it right in between. There's a sheep's head that's striped fish. And then you can see those pork fish as well, those yellow ones, um, all sorts of cool stuff. So even if you're just snorkeling this, you're not just trying to go after uh, fish to eat. Um, it's pretty cool. There's a whole live stone crab there. Actually, that one was dead. But anyway, 
I wanted to show you under some of these where this encapsulating sponge kind of growing under the bottom. And you can even see some coral growing in there. Uh, but there are all sorts of cool fish. You can see those snook or those striped fish. You definitely don't want to shoot one of those. They're illegal to shoot at the moment. Um, but yeah, all these ledges, there must have been, there's probably about, I don't know, 30 or 40 big ledges like this uh, out there that are always holding fish. They're great for sea life. So it's good to even if you feel like line fishing out there, you can always try and do that. I decided to swim under there just to show you um, size. You can see all these uh, snook as well. They all hang out around there. So pretty cool. That one's a little bit shallower. So you could see the depth of that ledge was about three, four feet. And then there was still another five, six feet to the top of the, the water there to the surface. Um, but yeah, everything tends to just come in and check you out if you're laying down there or just looking around. This is a different section and about that 10 foot. You could see there's a big school of snapper shimmering in the back back there. And uh, they were living in that real deep hole. And uh, I had some of them come in, but there must have been several dozen just schooled up. So pretty cool spot. I will say on this dive, I mostly saw snapper and only a few sheep's head. And I've noticed that over the winter is when we get mostly sheep's head there. And then over the summer, mostly snapper. So if you're targeting a fish or want to see a certain fish, keep that in mind. There's some sergeant majors. That's those striped black and yellow fish. We get those in the keys a lot. And then that's another, that's a live stone crab there. Uh, and he was not wanting me to get too close to him. All right, y'all, hope you enjoyed. That's Seeker Florida, episode one. Look at this, so pretty. y'all as promised here's your hint this is the path to the spot um, it's along the gulf coast like i said in the title otherwise known as the west coast of florida um, so you know that and this is what it looks like it's along a popular uh, beach that a lot of tourists go to uh, this wall is it's kind of the end of one of the the uh, main beaches and you'd run into that and eventually you'd have to stop and a lot of people don't know to go walk out in the water wade you got to kind of jump up onto this wall and slide along the edge to get to it um, but if you've spent a lot of time on the west coast of florida you'll probably recognize this wall and maybe you've ventured out there maybe you haven't but now you know i'm sure a lot of viewers that are floridians probably know about this spot but i don't like naming coordinates or exact names of some of my favorite spots uh, on YouTube or else it can get way overcrowded, way too busy. Those that put in a little extra time or watch to the end and figure it out, maybe look on Google Earth and try and figure it out, uh, those will be the people that will get out there and have a great time. So enjoy. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It really helps out, guys. Uh, throw a comment down there if you'd like. Please don't comment the spot name, but I'd love uh, some uh, positive words down there. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, yeehaw.